Hello and welcome to another edition of the OC Varsity Recruit Show. I am Jonathan Camus with the Orange County Register being joined by our preps guru, Dan Albano. We are here on a beautiful new field here at La Habra High School, just in time for the 2016 football season. We will talk about the Highlanders linebackers duo in just a bit, but Dan, we're going to start off in South, Cam in South County where the Diablos have a, uh, a double duo, if you will. Yeah, you know the good linebackers are coming in pairs uh, this year, and Misha Viejo, another defending CIF champion uh, and state champion from last year, has got a great duo. Colin Schooler, uh, senior, uh, all county. You know he's a two-way player, but he's uh, one of the best linebackers in the county. Jonathan, we saw what he could do last year. Linebackers his best position uh, as far as college. He's got a couple offers. Uh, New Mexico recently. He's got UNLV, but they got another outstanding linebacker at Mission Viejo as well, uh, Christian Lavelle. And he really came on, and, and, and Coach Johnson thinks Christian is going to be really one of their key players this year. Uh, he, he puts them right up with some of their other outstanding players like Colin, Schooler, uh, puts them up there with uh, you know Elijah Griffin on defense, Austin Osborne. All right, those are the kids from Mission, and uh, we're going to transition now to Los Alamitos. I was out there a couple of days ago, Dan. There's, they're pretty big, they're pretty tall, they're pretty mean, and you got two to talk about. Yeah, the Griffins and uh, Coach Ray Fenton's got two of them uh, at linebacker to watch as well. Um, Drew Platt, Isaiah Johnson, uh, both these guys are getting moved to the inside linebacker for the Griffins. So pretty interesting strategy. These guys are kind of been a little bit of an edge guy, D lineman types. Um, but both these guys are going inside, uh, really going to try to solidify that uh, Griffins defense. And these both guys are really good athletes. Um, Coach Fenton is high on both of them. Uh, Platt's also an outstanding tight end, real good athlete, and uh, Coach Ray Fenton is very high on Isaiah Johnson. Yeah, Isaiah Johnson really impressed me. The kid's got some size and uh, he's got some attitude, which we always like. Dan, we're going to throw it now to the, the two La Habra players we're going to talk about. We got some interviews with them earlier. Here's what they had to say. Uh, I think I'm fast off the ball. You know, I have really good patience, and a lot of linebackers don't know how to read the linemen, but I think I could, that's what separates me from a lot of linebackers. I'm really good, and Coach emphasizes all the time reading the linemen, and I do a really good job at that, so it makes my job a lot easier, especially when I know where the ball is going before the ball gets there. I mean, it all comes down to, like, timing and knowing the plays and studying the film and knowing what the offense is going to do before you go out there and just being ready for it and being ready for what the offense throws out on you because when at the end of the day, it's the knowledge that gets you there and in the position to make the play. Thanks to Cameron and Marcus. Dan, you have a little something you want to say about those guys? Well, hey, Cameron Rivas, uh, number 44. There's a couple linebackers, you know, uh, there's another linebacker 44 on this list as well. But um, Cameron Rivas, first team All-County last year, big time motor, great instincts, uh, was a key uh, member of that defense. And uh, Marcus is going to be kind of an outside guy, looking to get to the quarterback more. He's picked up some offers, um, like he mentioned. Um, but you know that's a great duo, and they're gonna, you know, they Lahaba's got a great schedule. We're gonna see these two guys play against some outstanding competition um, this year. All right, enough of the duos, Dan. We're gonna <laughs> highlight some some players from a, a couple different schools. Who you got? Well, another 44 for you, John. Another uh, and also a first team All County guy last year from Ville Park, John Stamos. Uh, recently vis visited Army and Navy. Um, Ville Park's excited about that. Also got an offer from Fresno State. So John Stamos racked up the tackles last year. Uh, Spartans were eliminated by uh, the Highlanders last year. But John Stamos is going to be a guy to watch. Also can play some offense. Another guy from the Freeway League. Here we are, you know, we're at the defending, you know, multiple-time Freeway League champion La Habra. But uh, Cedric Dashell, uh, Dashell, excuse me, at uh, Buena Park is an outside guy who can, uh, it's getting more physical every year. Kick to the quarterback. Um, playing some outside, more physical on the run stop. So I like him at Buena Park a lot. And then, you know, maybe the highest recruited uh, linebacker in Orange County. You got to go to modern day, Trinity League, you know, um, Fave Fave. Uh, he's got a ton of offers, high motor guy, um, really spectacular athlete. Um, kind of getting close, Jonathan, to some recruiting, uh, you know, maybe some commitment from him. Colorado, Colorado State, Louisville, all could be, uh, you know, uh, contenders here at the end for Fave Fave, who 
really might be one of the leaders on that Monarchs defense. It's a name so nice, they had to name him twice. That's right. Uh, I love Fave <laughs> Fave. He always brings it. All right, thanks to Dan Albano. I am Jonathan Camus, and as always, we're going to flash this disclaimer. <laughs> we are just spotlighting a number of uh, marquee linebackers in the county. We know we missed a couple, but make sure to hit up Dan Albano at OC Varsity Guy because uh, we'll be around all season covering the best of Orange County football. And make sure you check out OC Varsity. Varsity.com, where we've got you covered.